With summer around the corner, higher temperatures are coming, meaning a stressed power grid and high electric bills. In summertime, when the demand for electricity is high, then uh, the supply is low, so that's why the prices go higher. So what can you do to save energy? The key is mostly about turning it into a habit. Basic stuff, turning lights off, not leaving appliances on when they don't need to be. Um, that whole reduce, reuse, recycle, it's the reduce part. Many devices keep using energy even when they're turned off. So think about pulling the cord if you want to save a few more bucks. Consider unplugging your electronics when you're not using. For example, people have their uh, computers, their TV is always on. Uh, whenever you le leave your home, uh, try to un unplug. One way to spare your change is by using smaller, more energy efficient appliances. This USB fan is energy efficient, keeps you cool, and it's quiet. Meanwhile, an air conditioner is often the biggest energy consumer in your home. Not to mention, it can get loud and annoying. A fan may be all you need on a moderately warm day. Our bodies are set up to eliminate heat with perspiration. And if you sit under the fan and you're drinking water, I don't even notice a perspiration, but I do notice getting cooled off. Certain appliances actually make your home warmer when they run. So even the time of day during which you use electricity matters. Using your dishwasher, uh, washer and dryer uh, during the day, that creates a lot of uh, heat, especially like the dryer. So uh, you could, for example, use it at night. These small actions won't be noticeable at first, but those savings will eventually start to add up in the long run. Reporting from Fresno, David Victor, Fresno State Focus.